Are we on, Daniel? Yes, we are. Good. Hello, everyone. I'm David Fernando Dafa, and this is my guest, who's called Jolino King Da Costa. Uh, in Kikongo, we said Muta or Tata King. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on you. Okay. Just king. My guest for today's edition is Dalton King. Dalton King. Yes. Exactly. Like Dalton or Dalton? Dalton King. Yeah, okay. I wrote it wrongly. Dalton King. Right there. Yeah. Who is Dalton an king. English teacher, a teacher trainer, and also the English coordinator. Yes. English exactly. coordinator of uh, Telatona? Telatona. Telatona, yes. It's Telatona. My guest for today's edition has been teaching English for yeah. over 20 years. Right. When, when he commenced teaching English, I was, I didn't know that I, I would speak English. <laughs> yes. I remember in early 2000, yes, in 2000, I think DES was the only school that had a desktop. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Around us. I in think Kilomba so. Kiyash. In well, Kilomba, yeah. yeah in because Kilomba Kiyash, yeah, yeah. In, you, couldn't, you couldn't have a lyrics from DS without looking for English teachers. You could, uh, baby in Singani production. Yeah, that you was could the, always that, find the a producer. list of teachers. Yeah, yes. Yeah, he was the you, could always, you could always find a list of teachers. Uh, D DES teachers, Dalton King, Dan Brown, Dan Kikesh, Adam Smith, yeah. Tony Scott, uh, X, and some of the teachers. Yes? That, that was the kind of promoting teachers. Yes. Also. Okay. So what comes to your mind? Let me start, let me start um, right there. What comes to your mind when you, you remember or when you hear the name DES, Directing School? Is that a kind of mesome for you? Yeah, yeah, that is because um, I cannot say that's where everything started. Okay. Because um, if if I go backward, I think I I I started learning English in Nigash. Oh, Nigash. Yeah, in Nigash. Um, with with um, with um, there was a group of uh, Indian military. Okay. Indian troops. Uh, from um, United Nations, and uh, they were they were like um, um, giving chance to little boys and mm -hmm. you know just doing their social okay social work with with teachers yes. I mean with with um, with kids there, mm -hmm. and uh, I was one of these lucky okay okay we were studying in in, in, in their in their camps they were in, in camps mm -hmm. and. They could collect us into big trucks oh. and take us to the camp with the teachers and then to get that get us back to to the city. Okay. And that's where everything started. When I came to Luanda, it was in two uh, in nineteen ninety six. Oh, okay. Yeah. One year before me. Yeah, nineteen ninety six. And in nineteen ninety seven I started um, learning English in uh, training center okay. to death okay. in the school. And um, it was a very great experience. Um, I made I met very good uh, very good friends there and good teachers mm -hmm. also at the time. Let's say um, like Tony Scott. Um, I met Grace B. He was yes. a teacher there already when I when I started learning English. He was not my teacher, okay. but yeah, he was already teaching there. And um, yeah, I think that's what you said. That's that 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 was, and I still consider it as my meso man. Okay. Yeah. So let me tell you that I am before not my teacher, but before a master and a legend for me, because uh, as I told you, we always wanted to to buy lyrics. Yeah. And if you didn't have money, you only had to go to DS, talk to a teacher, or to a friend, and get the lyrics and then I'll make a copy of it. Yeah. And that's where we started knowing some of the te some teachers from DS where uh, for you, Jolino, King, I, I won't say Kingi, uh, because it's because of Kikongo, <laughs> King Da Costa. Yeah. For me, Dalton King, yeah. because for me, he is a legend 
a master, someone who we only use to we, we only use not to see but to read his names in the lyrics. Yeah. Dalton Kane. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he he holds a degree in English language teaching, English language te uh, teaching methodology. Yeah. And also you also hold uh, masters in uh, let me let me uh, I, I want to read where's my my draft Daniel where's my draft <laughs> yeah but I can help you it's, yes uh, uh, yeah I, I, I hold um, a master's in um, education sciences yes right? uh, actually it's educational, uh, sciences. Uh, educational sciences yeah. and your specialization is, is organization and school exactly. management right okay yeah. so you haven't introduced yourself yet. Right. Who is Jolino da Costa? The well, one king. Jolino da Costa is, um, let's say, um, a teacher. Um, uh, Jolino da Costa is a father. Okay. Um, Jolino da Costa is a friend and um, someone who's very much interested in, in um, developing others, in, 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 in molding others, in helping other people, uh, mainly teachers, mm -hmm. okay? um, in, in shaping their way of working, shaping their, their, their knowledge, uh, updating their, their, uh, their knowledge in English, of course. Okay. Um, this is one because um, I'm a master, I think, um, from uh, uh, from 2002, I think, and uh, I'm not deeply very involved in working uh, in my specialization because, well, I'm just doing some research. Okay, 2022, you mean? Um, yeah, 2022. Yeah. yeah, 2022. I started my master's in 2020. Okay. Um, it was uh, about to be fully presential in, okay. in, in Spain, but because of um, the pandemic situation in 2019, which started in 2019, then we, we had to, to have it partial. Okay. So um, I had to, to, to be there for 15 days and, and then come, and then I, I went just for, for the dissertation. Okay, yeah. good. So you are and this is the uh, deal in the coaster good yeah good okay uh, what is f from what was your next step when you left the es okay good question <laughs> okay when i left ds yes um i joined it i i i applied i i i, I cannot say i applied i was invited by a friend mm -hmm. who used to teach at uh, championing the school okay um that was in um near la cantina commercial mm -hmm. in, in in mayanga and uh then i had to shift from 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 to there to to championing school where i think i taught for let's say i think two years and then i had to shift to an oil company okay where uh, i almost did part of my 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 life okay i think 10 years in oil in an oil company and then i had to shift back to education okay yeah so uh well there are people asking us the topic there isn't a topic uh, uh, not to ask my question a podcast usually uh doesn't usually have a topic there's the guest often answers questions on his area of interest and my guest areas or area of interest is or areas of interest are education so he'll be answering questions on school organization um english language teachers uh cpd which is continuous professional development so he'll be answering questions on teachers interest or lack of uh continuous continuous pro, uh, continuous Yes, continuous professional, professional development yeah, and also management and leadership uh, for for values in schools. Yeah. So there isn't a specific topic, but he'll be answering questions on my questions and also your questions on 
the topic which I've already mentioned, but there isn't a, spe a specific topic which we can say like, you'll be answering questions on translation and, or oh, the topic is translation and interpretation. No, you'll be answering questions on education, te teaching, school management, uh, teachers, continuous professional uh, development and some of the uh, areas or topics. Okay, so uh, how, how challenging was it from, or how different was it? I know that when you, you left the ES to the champion, you were, you were already a very experienced teacher. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, how much did you um, improve? How much did your English teaching skills change? Or how, uh, yeah, how were you shaped from the, uh, from the letting school to champion? Um, truly speaking, um, the changes came uh, by the time I applied for ESET. Oh, okay. Because at that time, you know, the pattern, uh, the way of teaching of those cowboy schools, we mm -hmm. used, to, used to call them, yes. uh, like, like uh, those um, training centers, were quite the same. Okay. Okay. It, it was like um, teaching English for grammar, mm -hmm. right? And um, I think it was the same way everywhere, okay? okay? Um, the way we were taught, okay, that was the way we, we, we could teach, okay. okay, like teaching English to people and the most focus was given into grammar, okay, okay, um, by the time I joined it, he said, it was in 2004 or 5, 2004, I think, uh, there then, yeah, things started changing and I started shaping my way of teaching. Okay. Um, I started like um, uh, living the traditional way of teaching English mm -hmm. to a modern way of teaching English. Okay. Knowing more about the language and more knowing more about other factors that could even uh, 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 shape my way of teaching mm -hmm. English at that time. Okay. Yeah, but um, when when I joined it, it said. I was no more a teacher, an okay. English teacher. I, I was working for the Noe company at that time. So if you were not if you were not working as a teacher when you started studying at said why did you uh, you were working for an oil company? Yeah. Why did you go to ESET instead of going to Fox to Vox? Yes. Yeah. Um truly speaking, I, I applied for both. Oh, okay. I applied for both. But you know, my my dream was always uh, being a teacher though you were not working as a teacher yeah, as a teacher <laughs> so i could feel that inside me yes okay deep inside me i had that you know i had that um, the patient mm -hmm. of uh, of being a teacher okay, okay? and um, that's why i chose he said actually i passed it in both okay and i believe i had a very a very good mark in arts mm -hmm. yeah but i prefer he said just because of of, um, of um, I knew that in Faculty of Arts I could study linguistics. Okay. Okay, and I think that should not be the same as really being trained to become a teacher, okay. an effective teacher. That's why I prefer the said at the time. All right. Now, why, why English? Uh, why did you? Let me just try to to read here. Uh, well, this is F. Chirk in Fuilan Tomás, my municipality English coordinator. Say how, say how challenging is working as a Teletona English coordinator, mainly on drawing, uh, drawing the English syllabus. Okay, this is something which you will have to, to comment on. Yeah. Yes. Why, why did you decide to, to do? your masters uh, in educational sciences or let's say why did you have to do organ organization and school management as your uh, masters uh, specialization yeah um, well uh, I think um, at that time I had friends okay you know I had um, like uh, counselors, mm -hmm. I had um, um, Isaac Pash okay. as one of my best um, 
friend and tutor. Oh, good. Yeah, and um, he he was one of those, and also uh, teacher uh, Fernando Biavanga. Okay. Um, so before I, 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 I decided to, to do my master's, I had to talk to them mm -hmm. you know, to know what was their advice. And um, apart from that, I wanted to diversify a little bit. All right. I knew that um, the market of, uh, of, of, of English uh, in terms of teaching mm -hmm. was um, very bound to to schools to 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 teaching english two and english english one at, at the university yes. and and the secondary school so um then i said i should shift and there was no more place apart from teaching english mm -hmm. in a secondary school or in a primary school we don't have this in our education system yet yeah but uh, i i knew that the only place I could like focus my uh, my professional career in teaching English mm -hmm. should be at the set. Okay. Okay. And I couldn't I couldn't find anywhere else I could develop my professional skill, my professional career mm -hmm. in English apart from from the set. So I decided to do something else. I wanted to become at first I wanted to become a um, um, a university teacher. Okay. But so if I did my specialization and my master's in English, mm -hmm. I think I could end up just um, teaching at a Okay. And or a faculty of arts, mm -hmm. perhaps. And that's why um, I decided to to do something different. Okay. And uh, Doctor Isaac Pache and Doctor Fernando um, Biavanga they advised me to do something different. Okay. And I I decided to do what Isaac Pache. Um, was specialized, uh, which is uh, school management. Okay, and that's why I chose that. Good. Are you Are you happy with your? Yeah, yeah, I am. With what you did, I am. Oh, okay. I am, of course, I am. Good. Truly speaking, I'm in the same field. Okay, yes. I didn't I didn't skip from education. I'm in the same field. Mm -hmm. I should perhaps choose um, uh, business or something, marketing or engineering. Yeah. But I prefer to stay in education, but doing something different. Okay. Apart from, uh, uh, um, um, besides doing um, um, ELT, mm -hmm. then I decided to do uh, school management. Okay. Uh, would, you, would you briefly describe your preferred leadership style as a, a coordinator? <laughs> Yeah, of course. Um, well, this this leadership style depends very much on um, not only on the person, mm -hmm. on stereotypes. Also, it depends on the group. Yes. And I think the best one for me is the democratic okay. um, style of leadership. Why? Um, because you know, um, democratic leadership is intended to. Um, not to have like a, 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 a one-side decision making. Okay, uh, it involves people. Okay, um, uh, democratic leadership is the one who is always helping others, and he's also involved. Okay, in in a certain project or in 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 the field you are in, he's not a commander. He listens to others. Okay. Uh, he shares and he also accepts advice and criticism. Okay. Right. This is this is um, why I, I prefer to to work with a democratic style of leadership. Okay, that's good. Daniel, mm -hmm. don't forget the comments and the uh, what is what is the most exciting thing happening in education today? Are you talking about Angola or in general? In well, the let's say. In general, but uh, let's say particularly Daniel, Angola. Let's start uh, talking about education in particular. In general, uh, yeah. Uh, well, let's start by talking about education in general. Yeah. yeah. Then we we'll straight into particular. Yeah. Uh, okay. What is the most exciting thing happening so in education, uh, education today in, in Angola? Yeah, well, um, worldwide, I think 
the most exciting thing happening in education is um, innovation. Okay. Okay. Innovation. I think, um, like implementing ICTs in, 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 in a, the education system mm -hmm. is one of the best things that is happening because we are shifting from those traditional uh, folds of 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 of, um, um, of teaching, mm -hmm. okay, to the modern ones. Um, let's say that, um, like, teachers are open to searching. They are, are open to literature, to CPDs, yes. which couldn't happen, you know, some time ago. Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of the best things that is happening in the world. Now, going particularly to Angola, I think uh, we are a bit far from what is really happening in the world. Okay. If you go to, 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 um, to other parts of the world, even, even inside Africa, yes. there are countries who are very much developed in terms of education. Um, and um, I think they are more engaged in, uh, in SBM. SBM is the school uh, based management. All right. And what, this is, what, what is this school based management? This school based management is when the government gives autonomy, mm -hmm. gives uh, authority, gives responsibilities to the schools okay. to act on their own. And I think in Angola, uh, this is what is really in crush with our system of education. Okay? Right. The government is very much on the top. And uh, I think uh, everything in academia is decided by the politicians. Okay. And I think this is the thing that is really blocking our development, our innovating uh, or innovation in, in, uh, in um, education okay. system. So what can we do so as to, um, to set the education free from the, the government? What can we do so that we can set it free? <laughs> well, um, well, this 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 is a very big question, and I don't know if I can probably answer you. But, okay. Uh, I think um, the thing we have to do, in my opinion, in my viewpoint, is um, to we we have to stop influencing, having uh, education with much influence of the government, okay. politicians. If you see um, most of schools in, in, in our education system are private. Do you know that? Yeah. yeah. Most of them are private. Let me talk about Talatona. Talatona might have, uh, I think, Talatona, the municipality, might have something like uh, 48 public schools. Four 48 public schools, okay. but it might have more than a hundred and something private schools. My goodness. You see, and um, this happened not, 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 not only in secondary school mm -hmm. or, or in public, even at universities, that's okay. what we see. Okay, and I think um, the government is very much involved in, in the academia. Okay. And things cannot be only run by, by, by by having this much influence of, of, uh, of um, poli politicians okay. in, in the system. All right. Uh, Do you think what, uh, if we had less... Don't involve uh, <laughs> politics, <laughs> please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ask questions yeah, yeah, on, let's ask let's questions on management, oh, okay, school management, uh, teaching. <laughs> yeah, he is yeah, the yeah. English coordinator. Daniel, <laughs> Daniel used to work for a private school. Sorry, Daniel, oh, yeah. I have to talk about it. Yeah. He was work, he used to work for a private school. He yeah, was fired. He was fired after was interviewed on Ask My Questions. Really? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I asked him a question <laughs> on on school management. Yeah. Can you talk about how your school is managed? Yeah. And he started talking. Well. Uh, there's a new uh, there are new new managers uh, or new yes leaders the uh, the new principal, the principal. there's a, a a battle among them 
the owner has already passed away and there's a, uh, a fight, you know, among the, the children. He was talking about that. Yeah. Someone showed the interview to, to one the of the, I, th I think to the principal. Wow. They called him. Oh my God. They analyzed oh his, my God. His, <laughs> his address. <laughs> <laughs> and they, and was they called him, come to, come to my office, Daniel. Then he was fired. He was fired. Daniel, well, am I lying? No, 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 no. Right, right, right he, now. He, he I, was fired. I, 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 I think, I they, think, and I hope I'm not firing either. <laughs> <laughs> because but, I'm, 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 he, not, I'm not teaching in a private school, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm teaching um, like um, um, education uh, officials. Yes. Uh, uh, so you're a public servant. Yeah. Uh, no, no, really, not, 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 not be, only you, in the public You will not servant. be fired. I'm, you will be just punched. Yeah. Some days at home, and then you come back. <laughs> they will ask you. They will ask you to to be cleaning the 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 the, uh, the secretary. Well, the secretary to be organizing the the books since for I'm, some days. Since and I'm then, paid. <laughs> since I'm being paid. Yeah, you, you don't mind. Yeah, doing I that. don't. I don't mind that much. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are yeah. your what are uh, what are some of your ongoing personal goals? Uh, well, um, right now, in, 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 terms of, in terms of professional career, mm -hmm. you mean? Yes. Uh, well, only professional career. We don't usually talk about uh, like private lives, like yeah. your... Okay. No, 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 no. Maybe we, 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 I interviewed uh, a guest yeah. who told me not to, to ask any questions, like questions on... Uh, girlfriends or wives? Oh, yes, I mean, I have got problems with my girlfriend. So I, I, I don't have don't ask me any that. questions. I don't have problems with that. Yeah, like I know that you are you're married yeah, yeah, and yeah, everything everything is okay. No outside six. Yes, no, no I sometimes see your 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 pictures on on Facebook. On Facebook yeah. You were with, you were with your partner in Portugal. And yeah. oh, why didn't yeah. you run away? <laughs> Good question. How you was, were, I you was, were among, um, among though, I think, 100, 100 Angolans, yes? No, uh, how many Angolans um, went to, to Portugal? 500. Something. Yeah, uh, where I think 100, 20? 20, 20, 20, 20. 20 of who ran away? I thought, you were, they didn't run away. I thought you were one of them. They didn't run away. Actually, no? I was in one of this group. Oh, okay. <laughs> one, of, one of them in the group. But uh, I think there was a, a, mis, a misunderstanding. Okay. None no, mm -hmm. no, no of those uh, uh, um, Angolan who were there mm -hmm. uh, ran away. No? No. Uh, what happened, what happened was um, we were 500, I think. And among this 500, mm -hmm there were a group of 20, okay, who were managed not by um, the coordination oh, okay. of, of uh, because we went there for, for, for um, the youth uh, that, that is um, uh, World... Um, well, that's that? World Youth Day? Yeah, not, not World Youth Day. That's a, a World uh, Youth uh, meeting mm -hmm. that um, the Catholic Pop Okay. Is always uh, 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 organizing, mm -hmm. and um, that is for Catholic um, young people. Okay. Okay, going there, and um, so we, we we there was an, a, a, a coordination. Okay, there was a group who was coordinating the activity, and who was responsible to carry uh, to take these uh, five hundred. People. Mm -hmm. But apart from the, the, the main uh, coordination, there was sub coordinations. Okay. It, 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 let's say, for example, um, we had um, a coordination from Talatone, mm -hmm. for example, or as we say in Catholic, we have parishes. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. And we have different parishes in Talatone, in, in, in Kilambakash, in. Uh, in, uh, in so we were one of this group who, who was being sub-coordinated by a different group. Okay. And we went in a different day and we stayed in a different place. Okay. So we were not being counted mm -hmm. as part of those oh, okay, yeah. who were always present. Okay. Okay, because they they 
they sh they, they 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 the the government the, 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 even the government mm -hmm. the, the, the Portuguese government knew where all these people were based. All right. Okay, and we were based by some Portuguese family houses. Okay, and others were based in schools. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, by the time they were just like controlling, we were not at the exact time okay. where this control was being made. Okay. So those 20, in which I was one of them, yeah, were like those who ran away, but okay. that was not true. Your, your All idea. the 20 are in Angola, are back in Angola. Okay. Yeah, All right. back in Angola. Yes, now going back yeah. to the question, what are uh, some of your ongoing personal goals in terms um, of uh, professional, professional life, professional career? By now, um, I think I'm, I'm just, um, my goals are on researching by okay. now, okay? I don't, I don't have like, um, uh, I don't have a specific goal mm -hmm. like to run very deeply now, uh, uh, apart from just researching on education, mainly in school yeah. management. Uh, which is my new area. I want to explore a little bit more about school management, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in, in, in Angola. Yes. And also, um, like running CPDs, okay, just helping teachers because in our in our uh, uh, um, um, in Angola, specifically in Luanda, mm -hmm. uh, specifically in Luanda. Um, not only in Dubai, let's say in general, in Angola, yes. um, we lack English teachers, qualified in English teachers. Yes. And those we have in service, okay, they really lack uh, training, update. And uh, I think one of the way is through CPDs. Okay. And uh, I think I want, I want to organize for this year um, more uh, workshops uh, like um, yeah, even teacher training for teacher. I always do it. Um, uh, I already do it. Let's say not always, but I I already do it. Uh, in my by now, I'm just doing it in my in my so-called zips. Okay. Right? Um, those uh, method methodological meetings, mm -hmm. we, we pedagogical methodological meetings, we have been having quarterly at schools, and with my group of teachers, uh, I always uh, share what and now and um, and also exchange experiences techniques and, and I was lucky I was invited by you yeah yeah, yeah at that time yeah I remember it was <laughs> thank you so year. much no two, uh, I think three years ago three years ago I think yeah. it was in 20, 2021 yeah so maybe yeah. it was in 2021 yeah. or 2022 yeah okay uh Daniel are there any questions well there yeah, are some people know, viewing person. us from Mozambique right yes Mozambique uh, okay. South Africa and in Luanda, I have Alberto Pombal viewing us, I think, from, from Luanda. He said that, I remember this teacher. Yeah, DES, my first English school. I remember this teacher. This is Alberto Pombal. Mm. And I'm on F. Turk and Fuller Tomaj. I can also see, um, this is okay. I'm currently online, Mr. Duffer, please convey my regards to our guests. This is the killer J uh, viewing us from which province? Oh, thank you very much. My province. Yes. Our and province. Yes. Yeah. And did you know that there's a battle, that, uh, there's been a battle between uh, which, no, no, Ntsotso and uh, Ndamba? Yeah, I know. I know <laughs> that. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. Ntsotso is now a municipality. Well, it, I think it will be time. Oh, okay. It will be time in two municipality, I think. Uh, it's 21 de Janeiro. No, 30. 31 de Janeiro. 31 de Janeiro. Yes. Yeah, thank you. 20, I'm tuned 20. from Zeto. This is Chofalo. Viewing oh, okay. guy from, Viewing guy from Zeto. Regards, my Paul. And Quintino. Yes, Quintino is viewing guy from Benguela. Oh, right. Yes, Benguela. Yes. Yes, Charles Tokosi. No, Charles Titosi is viewing guy from Mozambique. In Mozambique, the government's very much to blame for it has sent our education to the dogs. The ruling party is doing what I can't even name. Does this play, does this take place in Angola too? 
<laughs> we are brothers, man. Politics. Look at your, look at your flag. Look at your flag. Look Likewise. at the ruling party, man. Likewise, yes, what's that? Renamo, Frelimo, MPLA, Unita. You know, Likewise. the same one. Yeah. Likewise. <laughs> okay. Uh, here in Angola, it's forbidden. Oh, Quintino, Quintino Wise, uh, Shine Moon. Yes, who is, I think who's viewing us from Bengala said that replied uh, Charles Titosi saying that here, here in Angola it's forbidden telling the truth because you are going to be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Amon, yeah, no, 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 no more. Yeah. 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 Amon, I haven't arrived on time, unfortunately, watching from South Africa. Wow. Okay, this is Tonilson. And there's also, I think that there's also another person who is viewing us from South Africa. Hmm. I know who it is, but John Carter, who was one of our guests, I'm watching you from Musende, Kwanzaa Sul. Good to see you again. Musende, wow. Yes, yeah, he's one of the, he's very regular and yeah. was interviewed here. Here that. I am, Tabi from Bengala. I'm still cooking a question. Go ahead. <laughs> he's here uh, wait waiting for, for your questions. We wait yes. for them. Oh, what what would you do to encourage parents to become active uh, participants in their children's education yeah um this is also one of my areas of interest okay. although i didn't mention it um because you know parent parents have um very much to say mm -hmm. okay they are stakeholders they are school stakeholders, okay. and they need deeply. They they deeply need to participate in the school decision making. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't happen in our schools, as we know. We know the reasons. Why? Why does it happen? Um, it doesn't happen because, uh, as I said before, mm -hmm. there's very much influence on on, 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 on politics and, okay. and so on. Schools. Um, what what happens at our schools? Do you do you know? Uh, I don't. I'm asking you. Do mm -hmm. you know any school principal, public school principal, who is not linked to? Um, we don't need to say the name. I, I, yeah. I didn't want to ask you, but as you mentioned, are you also a member? Because for you to be a coordinator of a, of English or of a subject, you need to be uh, you need to be a member. Those no? are small fishes. Ah, okay. Those, those are small. Okay, fish. so you don't need to to be a member. It's, it's small uh, fish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Small fish. No, no. It's like uh, teachers, me, yes. teachers, coordinators. Yes. Um, they don't need to be linked okay. to, but like uh, principals mm -hmm. or uh, those administrative. Yeah. So let me let me uh, answer your question. Yeah. No. I don't need. Yeah, it. I don't know I don't any any. It. Any principle. And what happens? Truly speaking, my, my principal, let me particularly talk about my, my school, mm -hmm. the school I work. Uh, my principal used to carry out like a very good link with, with parents. Okay. Okay. Uh, with, uh, with, with uh, uh, how do we call them in Portuguese? Uh, Right? Okay, yeah. uh, with, with parents, yeah. they, 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 the parents. He, he used to, um, he used to, to like ask for advices, um, ask for inputs how we could run the school. Um, but look, I'm the only one who can look at you. You can look. Yeah, at, I'm okay. Look at, at, yes. at, uh, I can look at you. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always and, and, off. and and I think he was doing a very good job. There, but I I think he quit. I don't know why. Um, I don't know whether he was called or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, what we see is, is that there's no much uh, involvement and uh, and uh, and uh, link with teachers. Mm -hmm. I mean, with schools and and uh, the principal. The, Parents. Can we I mean, reply to this question? Please? And the parents mm -hmm. at school. Can we reply to this question? Uh, at schools. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what needs to be done is, uh, and also I think even parents, yeah. they, this, they, this, they left this responsibility to the school. Okay. Okay. I think it has got to do with a lot of factors. 
Okay. Um, for example, uh, let's say that parents don't have much time to stay with with, with kids, mm -hmm. not much time to think, uh, and also to uh, uh, like suggest projects at schools. Uh, parents don't have time uh, to visit schools. Okay, um, even to know about their children behaviors or mm -hmm. even uh, uh, scores okay or grades at school yeah. once you invite parents they don't show up okay so i think there are too many factors involving involved in, in in this relationship okay yeah so can we say that teachers uh, oh, i mean parents have divorced yeah that's our divorce so we're divorced that's a divorce because you know very few parents um, are very much involved in, in schools uh, with the school. Okay. Like uh, 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 even talking to teachers, uh, I think there's much of uh, like um, uh, uh, parents now when they go to school is like to fight with teachers. <laughs> it's like uh, just to put uh, uh, like much responsibility because his son is not developing, mm -hmm. his son is not growing, yes. his son is not reading. And even the government says that the responsibility is like, let's say 90, 99% on the teacher. Okay. About the uh, learner's failures. Yeah. And I don't know why. Once we know that even the pedagogy or even uh, 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 the psychology tells us that the teacher is not the only one that decides mm -hmm. on the students uh, like uh, uh, learning. The parents are there. Yes. Um, uh, even the school management is there. The parents are there. The government has its responsibility, big responsibility. And we know what happens with the government. OK. And um, social conditions. OK are also part of this big huge problem that we face in in in, in the, the learning in okay. our education and right. this has got to do of course with uh, with the involvement of parents in schools social conditions they don't have time they say they don't have time parents say they don't have time <laughs> uh, um, to 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 visit school to talk to the teachers because they are working and then they have a lot to do, even mm -hmm. on Saturdays. Yes. Uh, we have periodic meetings with, 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 with parents, they don't show. Right. So what can we do so as to, uh, so that teachers, uh, I mean, parents can be working in partnership with, uh, with schools? Ah, oh, very good question. This, this question is very difficult to be answered because, you know, I, I think this has got to do with, um, um, mainly with, um, you know, our, 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 our social life is very hard. Mm -hmm. And I think that if the schools had autonomy, what do I call autonomy as schools? It's like each school should run its own projects. Oh. Like, uh, let, me, let, let, me, let, me, let me let me read this one. Yeah. I came late. I've been appreciating his hard work when Mr. King coordinates Zip Talatona Fumu. Mm. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is Manuel okay. Manuel uh, Chaya Kite, uh, Kiteke. Kiteke. Yes. Oh, okay, I know. I know. But you know him? I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I was saying, and um, uh, I think that um, with, with the autonomy, uh, with the school autonomy, yes. I think it's very much e easier mm -hmm. because you know the school will be run according to the needs of the community. Okay, right, and involving the community. Okay, involving the community, listening to the to the parents in the community where the school mm -hmm. is uh, is in. I think it's very much easier to involve the parents, okay. and they, I think they will feel very much also involved. Okay, because they know that what is being decided, mm -hmm. okay, is for their benefit. Okay. Okay. What happens is that 
parents can sometimes go to school and they have some ideas they have some 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 like uh, some projects okay to share with the principal mm -hmm. but you know even if they express themselves everything fall into like lakes okay right and nothing happened so what is my position as a parent yeah what do i do if i go to school and i i share with the principal something i think needs to be changed at mm -hmm. school i won't be listened okay. if i am listened then nothing will be changed so i stay in my position and let things run okay you, the way they run do you think uh, our parents love to involve themselves on um, their uh, children's schools due to lack of uh, um uh, um, autonomy in some in schools as such no i said is this is one of the factors and i think in my viewpoint uh this should be the first thing to be given okay uh, uh, uh to be implemented in schools it is not of course uh the only factor okay like giving autonomy it's not everything okay it's not everything but i think even uh um the, the 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 quality of education the quality of parents we have what kind of education did they have okay many of parents we know that they lack education okay a quality education and of course there is no way for them to follow their children's education even if you call them at school okay they don't have opinions they go there just because they don't want their children or their child to be punished. And they go there to sign their names so that the principal knows <laughs> that he was present and nothing else happened. So the autonomy is not the only thing, but it's, it is one of the things that makes the school decides what needs to be done. Of course, we need to, to have a, a, a curriculum, right? We need to have policies, okay, like guiding the system. But schools should have this autonomy to decide themselves what to do. For example, let's say that in a particular community we have, um, I want to implement a project. And according to the project, I have done a prior like research, right, into the area where this school is in what happens i will collect what parents have as their needs what they how they want the school to be run it is not only depending on the top uh, 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 government or the top the center of education the ministry deciding everything for the school in our schools there are no projects being run the um, the principals only wait for everything that comes from the top and how can i run a school that even being a principal mm -hmm. i cannot do something apart from i am being ordered to do um, even if i do my research then i need authorization to for example let, let me just uh, give you this example uh, when i i started um, like researching and working on my um, proposal for masters mm -hmm. um, school administration I did it in my own school okay and um, you know the bureaucracy I face it so that I could be accepted to run my research in the school mm -hmm. you don't even imagine that okay you know letters and letters and letters I had to write mm. yeah to the principal, then to the principal, to the municipality, then to the provincial, then to the ministry, and and and, and uh, I was interviewed. What kind of questions I could make? Okay, what kind of research? And uh, uh, I could not name the school. Of course, sometimes mm -hmm. yeah. we have this kind of uh, uh, the school, and of course we know all these ethic ethical. Uh, 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 entities but I, I faced this problem to run my my research there 
you can, can we say that the government has kidnapped uh, the schools it's, it's a or kidnapping. education? It's a kidnapping. Education has been ki kidnapped by, that, by 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 uh, by politics yeah, or but, by politicians. Yeah, but there's a there, there's I think they they are doing it purposely. Okay. I think they're doing it purposely. Okay. What 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 is what, what does it mean having a highly educate, educated population? Mm -hmm. Do you imagine Freedom. That? Freedom. Yes. And do you think... Do you mean they, they don't want, want us to think? Of course they don't. <laughs> and you know why? Daniel. You know why? <laughs> don't lead us to politics, please. <laughs> you as a, as a researcher, you want to see the education system in Angola changing and facing sort of barriers, I mean, do you, do you think in a, in, in a new future we can uh, take down our education totally since in ranking of uh, most of our, uh, mainly um, universities, uh, higher education and our, 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 our schools, our universities are not there. Do you think? Is there any way to overcome it, or we are going to take it uh, instead of forward, backward? Well, um, so let me. We need let to me rescue. Go. We need to rescue the uh, education, right? I don't know whether it's going <laughs> to be rescued. Let me go straight to the point. Uh -huh. um, I think our education system, by now, there's no any indication that there's something about a change. Not by now. Let me go straight to the point. Not by now. Um, our system, our education system is really falling. It's still falling. So we, I don't really know um, uh, uh, what are the real intentions, but it's really falling. And I think you and I know that uh, it is not by now. And I don't think, I don't want to talk about politics, okay? Yeah. But I think uh, uh, the way it is being run, okay, the, the, the Angolan system, the education system, I think we are far from changing it. You, were yeah. uh, you, were, you had specialized on uh, education management, right? Yeah. I don't know whether I'm wrong with this. Yeah. I think not. And uh, uh, with this speci uh, specialization you have done, have you been applying it? And uh, haven't you been facing barriers when you think like uh, there is something going, going wrong and uh, you think like changing it? Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. You think like changing it? Haven't you been facing barriers or you are given a freedom to do it and present it to the principals so that we can see something different, just at least to cover some holes? Um, the government have been opening. Well, um, answering your question, I would say um, if someone who needs to run a research in a certain uh, place, in a certain school, face barriers, of course, he will face barriers when he will try to implement what he, what he has researched, of course. There's no how. If you start facing barriers when you uh, start doing a research, it's the starting. You are it's the starting. You face barriers. What about in the implementation? Of course, there's no way uh, to do it better. Of course, I, I have been facing. Um, before yesterday, let me tell you something that happened particularly in my school. Um, before yesterday, um, I had to talk to my, my, my pedagogical principal. Okay. Uh, and it was about the way we were running uh, teacher tests, okay? Um, for example, um, you see, uh, I think principals now might be very much interested in uh, 
like making money. Okay. Even the principal. <laughs> yeah, even the principals making money. We know that most of um, the paths mm -hmm. have been cut. You know, we know that the guy is very much yeah, involved yeah. in so of them. And but there are some other strategies principals are using. Okay. And sometimes I don't really understand whether it is uh, the top uh, uh, responsibles, mm -hmm. um, the ministry, or even local. Okay. That decide things. Uh, at schools, um, like things cannot be sold, right? So we have emoluments, that mm -hmm. is that they would say, right? We have some kind of emoluments, we, 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 or what, what, what was that? Uh, how can I say that? There are fees, yeah. right? Uh, 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 for certain documents. Uh, for example, tests, okay? Like uh, answer sheets or question sheets mm -hmm. cannot be sold. Yeah. But then what we see in schools is totally different. Okay, but then when you are they selling them? When you approach are they? Yeah, a principal, and they say that there's no any regulation that prohibits us to sell. So they have been selling them. They have been selling them. Okay, and uh, before yesterday, uh, I think I was yeah before yesterday I was talking to my and I couldn't understand what's really happening in education. What is really happening in mm -hmm. education? Okay. Um, teachers um, who we, we have, for example, subjects from the beginning of the second term, students haven't had any class. Okay. But they oblige the teacher to design a test really? to be given just because they want to sell papers. <laughs> the answer. The answer sheets and questions. Yeah, the sheets. answer sheets and the question sheets. But what are the questions based on? That's the question. Knowing that uh, that what I ask, that's what I ask it, mm -hmm. my my pedagogical uh, coordinator. And well, truly speaking, you know, they always have politician uh, speeches. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, Daniel, could you find? There are some some good questions. Well, well not some good question. Uh, there are good questions out there. Could question, you find them? Uh, question and uh, comments as well. Mm -hmm. So there is a comment from Lofilia, Lofilia Siberian, which says, classroom management being an unfinished business when it come, when it comes to education, school management will definitely continue being an issue. Scarcity, uh, scarcity of resources and lack of authority from the schools will de definitely delay the collaboration between parents and the schools, my opinion. That's what I said before. There's mm -hmm. authority, uh, autonomy, okay? Um, schools, schools don't have budget. Schools okay. don't have budget. They no. don't receive budgets no. to run the school. No. no. You know, sometimes they struggle to have budgets for water, budgets for, um, uh, even electricity at my school, electricity was cut. Okay, <laughs> for almost for almost it's a public school. Yeah? They haven't paid. I'm telling you, yeah, it's a public school. <laughs> it was cut, and went there and cut the electricity. You have to pay, and the school doesn't have this amount to pay, right? So how do you want to run an effective school? Okay, management with this kind of barriers, with this kind of factors you're facing at schools, okay? What authority do you have, okay, to decide things at school? A principal cannot even decide when the teacher needs to quit, needs to be fired, okay? Okay, even if he teaches or he doesn't teach, even if he shows up at school or he doesn't, mm -hmm. okay? We know that even uh, 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 those uh, 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 what, 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 what do I call that? Uh, the shits control, controlling uh, uh, pre pre present attendance lists yes. and so on mm -hmm. that they have there. You know, they, 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 they decide nothing. Okay. Teachers are not discounted. Even if I go today and I go, I don't go after tomorrow, nothing changes. <laughs> so that's the way our system of education is. Okay.
So what can we do so that uh, we can we can change this? Uh, we can change this. Yeah, um, I think we have to. Uh, the first thing I want to, to comment before I, 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 I answer your question is okay. about like um, when we talk about school management, we have to think of how do we have uh, 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 our school managed? Yes. What kind of leaders do we have? Are they specialized in school management? This is one of the first issues. Okay. Of course, no. How are the principals selected? That's the question. Or nominated? Politics. Okay. Yeah. It's politics. The affiliation. Okay. That's that's the only thing I have to tell you. Okay. And what, what happened is, um, how many um, qualified, let's say, qualified or specialists mm -hmm. in school management do we have in Angola? Okay. They are counted, I think. Okay, but uh, yeah. the opinion continues, uh, continues saying that uh, most importantly, they should know that they are also part of the learning environment. It's uh, everyone's responsibility. I think those like I mean, this like uh, those lack of uh, those problems we've been facing in our schools as a way to handle these problems. Are we also part of this responsibility? Of course we are. Okay. Of course we are. I'm a teacher and I'm part of this responsibility. I have to do my work okay, accordingly, effectively, and with quality. It's not because my principal doesn't run well the school, then I don't have to teach well my students. Okay? Uh, that's what I share with my teachers. Okay? For example, um, what happens in ZIPs, in this methodological uh, meeting, it's just like filling papers. Okay. Teachers go there to fill papers, mm -hmm. but that's okay. not what I do with my teachers. Okay. With my teachers, and if I have some in, in, in the room, uh, oh, they are, can even some comment. I can see, uh, uh, we 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 we, F -Turk. we share we ex ex we, we ex exchange mm -hmm. methodologies. We ask teachers like we have this topic for this week. Okay. How. Would you teach this with your students? Okay. okay. Would you share share with us a technique or a procedure or a, a, a method? Okay. That, or even after, okay, uh, uh, like post teaching, we have pre teaching, uh, 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 like uh, discussion and post teaching discussion. Okay. Okay. I tried this topic using this kind of methodology and it worked. Would you try it? Some other teachers could try the same, and two teachers might use the same methodology, but it might not work with, with both, yes. okay, in the same way. And that's what we share, okay, with teachers. And also uh, help them. Uh, for example, there are teachers, they don't know how, how to, to start the class. Really? Yeah, what vocabulary is. There are English teachers, they confess at teaching English in Portuguese. Yeah, there was a teacher from... Uh, How did they get from, hired? Uh, well, that's the question. Because that's the same way, not, not the same way I was hired, mm -hmm. but when I entered an education system, I was, uh, I, was, I was not hired to be an English teacher. By the time Maria, I was hired... Maria Gonzalez. Hi, let me... Uh, sorry. Yeah, let yeah. Me, hi, Maria. Maria Gonzalez. Good to see you on the other side. She said, Zip. Oh, my goodness. Pain of neck. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. Maria. Uh-huh. You can carry on. Yeah. And, and, and um, as I said, you know, our teachers, uh, uh, teachers normally, uh, many teachers, and I, I read this, I think it was in the Ministry of Education website. Okay. That twenty-eight, only twenty-eight percent of yes, English I was, teachers. I, yes, I was to ask you this question. Uh, 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 oh, a question uh, on that. Yeah, qualified mm -hmm. ELT. Only twenty-eight yes. percent. So how how did uh, the uh, that seventy seventy no only twenty-eight yes 28, only so 20. we have seventy-two. How did that seventy-two percent get employed okay um uh, when i got employed let me give one example okay of myself when i got employed i i 
it was in 2004, five, I think. And I had finished by that time. Yeah, 2005. So 20 years ago, yeah. Daniel. Yeah. yeah, 20 years ago, more than 20. 20. 20. 2004. 20. Yeah. 20. 20 years ago. When I was hired in the Ministry of Education, yes. like working in the career, mm -hmm. I had finished, I think, my um, high school yeah. in biology and chemistry specialization. Okay. In INE. Uh, oh, okay. And I was hired to teach biology, or that was. Uh, 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 they call it Insino de, insin de Mayo, Insino de Mayo, right? Or yes, yes, Insino de Mayo. Insino de Mayo or Ciencia de Natureza. Then it's hot. Ciencia de Natureza, right? Sit there. Or then it's burning. Da, yeah, it's really burning. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Ciencia de Natureza. Okay. When I received my 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 uh, my release, mm -hmm. let me say, is that what they call it? Uh, uh, my document to present myself into the school. Yes. When I arrived at the school, my principal said, teacher, you know what? Um, I'm very happy to receive you here. You know, but you know what we really need here? An English teacher. No, it's not. That was a primary school. Okay. What we need here is uh, a mathematics teacher. Oh, uh, can you hold it? I said, of course <laughs> not. <laughs> I denied by that time. I said, uh -huh. of course not. I can't. Yeah, but um, what about uh, uh, drawing? I say, yeah, I think I can try drawing. Okay. I could. So you said, you said I can try. I can try. I can't draw, but I can try. Yeah, I can try. <laughs> and that's the way I started in education. Okay. I was teaching grade six. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and I was teaching drawing uh, or arts, something like that, yes. to students. And many teachers, this 72% you were yeah. talking about, Many of them I are hired just because they need to fill up the number of teachers lacking in schools. Okay. Not because they are specialized. Okay. So in, the seventy-two percent. Of course. Hmm. Do you know that we have coordinators, English coordinator, coordinating mathematics subject? Uh, someone asked, did you conduct a research on this? Not so. Actually, Jose uh, Tenent. Domingos, yeah. uh, did you conduct a research on this matter for you to affirm that? One minute ago, yes, uh, Daniel, no, no, not Daniel, so, Jose, uh, what my guest is saying, there was, you can, you, I think it was, it was four years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know uh, what institution ran this, this, uh, this survey research, yes, but, or know. research, but I know that it, it, it was published on on GA, GA, yeah, Journal de Angola. Yeah. If you look for, well, I, I don't know if you if you will find it, but I know that it was published on on Journal de Angola, so yeah. you can find this information on that. That's why he said 28, 28 When someone is talking about uh, numbers, numbers, percentage, it means this person might have read it somewhere. Like like my guest, he said twenty eight percent. So when as he is saying, 28% 20, uh, of English teachers w uh, working for, for the Minister of Education, only, uh, no, no, only 28% of English teachers who work for the Minister of Education are specialized, meaning that 70, 72% are not specialized. Mm -hmm. So this percentage is really exact. So this means that he read it somewhere or he ran a... Uh, uh, a survey, but let me say that this there survey has been okay. It's here. Uh, it was four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. Can you see that? It's there. Four years ago, Daniel. It's not my survey. Is it? Is it visible? It's the Ministry of Education survey. Is it visible now? <laughs> yeah. Is it visible? Okay. So you can see. Yeah. Uh, you can see that seventy. Only, 20, 20, only twenty-eight, only twenty-eight percent of teachers of English, English teacher teachers in Angola are qualified. You can read it there. Yeah, yeah? only twenty-eight 
percent of English teachers in Angola are oh, qualified. qualified. Such yes. that this survey was um, conducted four years ago, and you can see a teacher there. So we can't see the the paper which paper uh, published this information, but we know that this was published, I think, on Upaish or Journal d'Angola. I think I might have it. I, I, I can share it later okay, on if, yeah. if he wants. All right. Yeah, I can share it. I might have it somewhere in my my files. Good. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we have teacher. Yes, teacher. Is it? It's Kwaito, yes? Teacher Kwaito is viewing us from, he said he's viewing us from uh, South Africa and Zaid is also a viewing us, is not also, but he's viewing us from Mozambique. Mm. Yes, it's, so I think there are two two or three people viewing us from Mozambique, from Mozambique. and yeah. two or three viewing us from South Africa. And we have um, some other people viewing us around Angola. Wow. Okay, so there are now there are 30, 30, 30 people viewing us. Okay, they are here for Great. you. Yep. Great. Thank Daniel, you very much. Uh, how can we? Were you were you were you talking about something? Uh, did you? Ah, uh, do you know that? Oh, thanks for the clarification. Don't mention it. Yeah, we we are here for you. We have to right. we have to to be sure, right? Yeah. When we, we are talking sure about something, what, uh, talking mainly about. my yeah. guest, yeah. Yeah. because uh, he has he has a, he, he works he is an, he is an English teacher and he's he's got specialization on organization and school school management, management. yes yeah. so it's important to know about about this okay daniel okay, over to you there is a, if you are late there are some questions if you are here. if you are late i will read this question <laughs> coming from <laughs> hami let there me are, read this hamilton questions. hamilton yeah. hamilton I mean, oh, then, how many does that Actually, uh, two questions, but I'm going to um, it's from address said. one one question each, mm -hmm. so that you can answer them out, and then I come with, I come up I come I come up with the others. So the first one is how do you differentiate the context analysis and curriculum development? Um. Well. Um, can you come again with the questions? How, how to differentiate? differentiate how to yeah. differentiate? The context, context analysis, analysis and curriculum development. Um, well, this is not much of my focus. Um, let's say that um, how to differentiate context, context analysis, analysis and and curriculum and curriculum development. development. Well, uh, uh, um, I think uh, cur curriculum development has has got to do with um, uh, with the guidelines, okay, with with with, with, with um, the education guidelines, okay, in terms of um, of um, of uh, school management, okay, and um, well, actually they are linked because it has got to do with the context, okay, um, the the the. Um, Let's say the, the curriculum has got to do with the context. There's no how, how to differentiate them, okay? how to separate them. But uh, the difference is, um, the slight difference they may have is that uh, uh, curriculum uh, has got to do with the guidelines, okay? with the school guidelines. Um, while uh, the, um, uh, the context okay, um, has got to do with the site where this curriculum is to be implemented, right? I think that's that's the way I can roughly say. Yeah, yeah. it's a, yeah. a method to analyze yeah, the environment. to analyze the environment yeah. Uh, yeah. where yeah where the curriculum needs to be implemented. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the second question from him is how can how can teachers bring quality in their teaching, special uh, especially in their teaching, especially in EPL. Mm -hmm. How? How can teachers uh -huh. bring quality in their teaching, especially in EPL? Mm, EFL. I think um, one of them is through CPDs. Okay. Uh, how can they bring quality? It's through CPDs. Okay. It's like updating themselves time to time. 
that's the way we bring quality in, 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 in EFL. Um, and we know that um, this is one of the biggest problem, and this is also one of my focus. Yes. Um, CPDs, mainly if EFL teachers, EFL in Angola, uh, as we said, if we are talking about 72% of unqualified teachers, mm -hmm. it means that the 72%, they need to be qualified yes. through CPDs, okay? Most of them, um, uh, most of them, they can look, they can uh, uh, apply for uh, ESED or some other courses, mm -hmm. but those in service, what they need is CPD, is continuing professional development. So how, we, how important, how important are, uh, uh, or how important is uh, continuous professional development? Yeah, it's 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 very very important. It's okay. really fundamental. Uh, the CPD because uh, you know the CPD is uh, what um, makes teacher get updated. Okay. Okay. Um, exchange experiences with other teachers. Okay. Exchange methodologies, uh, techniques, and so on. So a teacher needs to do, um, to, 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 to run, to go behind CPDs mm -hmm. every time. Okay. Every time. It doesn't matter what kind of, uh, of, 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 of qualifications you have, yes. masters or CPDs, you, we, you will need to go behind CPDs okay. every single moment. All right. And that's what I always do, you know. Uh, even by the time I was not teaching, mm -hmm. I was working in an oil company, but I always worked on my like uh, English proficiency, uh, 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 like searching about uh, developing my English. Although I was working in an in, uh, American oil company mm -hmm. and I could speak English every day, but you know, in terms of methodology, yes. right, I would always research on that. Okay. That's CPD. And the CPD depends on the way we want to, to, to look for it. All right. Okay. Um, there are like uh, uh, going behind uh, uh, CPDs through uh, teacher training or even autonomous uh, uh, professional development. Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, a teacher in his classroom, he can be uh, uh, going through his own CPD, okay. like uh, 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 action research. Okay, uh, like uh, exploratory research in the class. I want to find out where I need to develop in my classroom. I need to research on that. And that's CPD. Okay. To see what is working well in my class and what is not working well in my classroom. Okay, where, where, where is the failure, okay, with my students? Where are the students not um, cap capting things Okay, where, where are they not learning? Am, is there any failure in, 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 in implementing strategies on speaking or on listening or on reading or on writing? Okay, so I need to, 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 to go behind, go behind. Mm -hmm. That's what I normally say to us. You have to go behind them. Okay. okay, you have to chase CPD because many teachers in Angola, they wait until I, uh, Duffer says, I, there's a training and it's for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they go running, okay? <laughs> some, some of them, they go running. Yeah. Even for free, many of them, they don't go. Yeah, I know. That's right? what's happened. Daniel, could you look for Gilbert, uh, Gilbert Walker, Walker's question or comments? Uh, how, 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 what is that? Okay, how does, how does CPD benefit a teacher? Well, um, in many ways. Okay. In many ways. Um, CPD may benefit a teacher uh, first in developing his own way of working. Okay. The second is what is what 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 is the 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 purpose mm -hmm. of my CPD is to benefit the students. Okay, it's on the quality of education. Okay, it benefits for it benefits myself, and of course then it benefits the others. All right. Okay, 
I think this is one of the benefits of, of CPDs is updating yourself, learning more, exchanging experiences, and sharing what you know with others too. All right. Uh, Maria said that, Maria Gonsalves said that uh, zip is a pain in the neck. It is. Why, why, why do you think, why do you think, why do you think uh, CPD, or oh, not CPD, zip, yeah, she said zip is a pain in the neck. Why, why do you think zip is a pain in the neck? Why did you just, why did you just, did you say, did she say that? Well, let me clarify, um, clarify this. Zip is only a pain in the neck mm -hmm. in the way it is being implemented. Okay. Right? Because the methodology is good. Mm -hmm. The implementation is not good. Okay. The question is, many, even many teachers and many responsibles, let me say educational responsibles, I think, they, they, they are not very much aware how a real zip should work. Okay. Because, you know, uh, uh, the strategy is good, is to share experiences, not to feel papers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> According to what I read, yes. okay, about zips, it was implemented to help, uh, uh, to, uh, to help teachers, okay? Uh, each one in his specialization, yes. okay, teaches, gather, and discuss techniques, strategies, yes. methodology, okay, and some other principles. Discussing, not going there to feel the, 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 the syllabus. That seems to be like, a, a, uh, uh, what can I say? It's, it's a, a brief. It's a brief syllabus, that's okay. what they do, right? They, 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 because what, what we do is like rewriting what is in the syllabus <laughs> to a quarterly paper, right? Yeah. That's what teachers do. Okay. But that is not what it was meant to do, to, to be. Okay. Yeah. So it is only an act because many teachers don't understand what is that for? How does it work? And even principles. Okay. They receive the order, they implement it in the school, but they don't explain the teachers how it works. And the teachers, mm -hmm. because most of us also lack like CPDs, like mm -hmm. going to update myself on how, how does it work? Yeah. And read a little bit and go into the next step. Yes. Discuss with your mates that the way we have been doing things is not what was meant to be. Yeah. You see? Okay. And that, that doesn't happen. That's why Isabel says that. No, that Maria goes Maria, Maria goes Let me read her, question, uh, her comments and then I will read uh, Luciano uh, Gather's uh, question. Yeah. Uh, when the guest knows the topic, the podcast actually flows perfectly. I clearly see that the guest knows perfectly the issues. Okay, this is Maria Gonsalves, who okay. did view uh, last editions, um, last editions, yeah, last edition. And she said that, she commented saying that I'm not going to to view today's edition. And oh, okay. she was, she, she, she might have been busy. Okay, yeah, so thank you so good. much for your comment, Maria. And I saw here, uh, I don't know if he is still there. This is Edson Masukina. Edson Masukina, I think, also works for uh, the Minister of Education. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference between continuous professional development and in-service training courses? Okay. Um, well, well I, I think there's a difference. It's very there's slight. A difference. A slight yes. difference. In-service training course, it's in uh, where you work yeah cpd can be done well it, it's for you for you to to, to, to answer to, the yeah, question because yeah but if, that's, if that's i the run way. if i run a course on teaching pronunciation this is, this has to do with uh continuous professional development because you come to uh, i am an independent person yep. who, who is running a, a a course on a specific uh well a specific topic yes but this topic is, it's what? 
it's in your field. Related in the yeah, field. Yeah, related to your yeah. field. So you go there and you attain yeah. that uh, that professional or right. that uh, training. Like what uh, Teofilo has been doing. Teofilo has been running courses on uh, English language teaching methodology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. And I, I remember having, you know, I remember seeing a teacher who came from which province to uh -huh. attain this training. Uh -huh. yeah, the training. I saw, I saw, I yeah. saw this teacher. That's CPD. Yeah. That's CPD. Now in so. service, well, you can, you can. In, in service, in service. I'm not service, here to talk a lot service. because they sometimes service, yeah, say, but you're right. Rafa, that's, you are that's, talking that's, a lot. That, <laughs> no, but that's, let, that's, that's let, what you said. Let the guest speak, please. Yeah, but that's what you said. <laughs> uh, um, in service, in service training, um, is what happens in, 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 in our schools. This in service training, yes, which is, I, in my opinion, which is also badly run okay. many times. Um, it happens mainly in the beginning of the trimester, yes, or at the end of the trimester, okay, and that they call it seminars or seminarios yeah. or the capacitor. So that's so that's a in service training. That's in service. Although it, I I think. The way uh, 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 it it has been run, mm -hmm. it's not uh, appropriate. Okay. Yeah, but that that's the difference. Okay. CPD, you run it yourself. You don't wait for the principal. Yeah. Okay. To 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 to, uh, to announce. To, yeah, uh, to announce or to, a training. Yeah, for a training or or even to to select you for a training. Mm -hmm. For example, this is service training that. Uh, um, that one with with with, with, with the, the Ministry of Education runs, um, the agency of uh, teacher teacher of training teachers. You know, uh, in it? Uh, no, 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 need. no. Uh, uh, NFK. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like PAT, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, like PAT. PAT is like uh, um, PAT is uh, Projeto uh, uh, de Aprendizaje para Todos. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is a kind of a service because. Uh, uh, to be there, you need to be selected by the principal. Okay. Okay. And there are few teachers only holding that. Okay. And this and is mainly run, this is run by the by the by the Ministry of Education. Of Education. Okay. Yeah. Uh, of Education. And, and and what happens is that most of these in service training are not cascaded. Okay. Okay. They are not cascaded, and I think CPD needs to be cascaded. Okay. Can be implicitly or explicitly, but it, it is cascaded, right? Because what I learn, if I don't share it with others, yeah. it's my like, uh, it's a bad CPD, right? Okay. Yeah. Why am I Why am I learning something if I don't benefit the others? Yeah. It's useless. All right. Uh, Daniel, yeah, there are, are there any comments? Uh, which says the problem starts from the rule, no? A couple of minutes ago, the guest said the electricity was cut in a public school. <laughs> no way to Angolans, university to be on the top. And still has said that it has been said that learning English at school is quite impossible. And ones who uh -huh. want to learn English have to take courses. Have to take courses and many teachers of English recommend their children to do so. Yeah. If you have chance right. to design a curriculum, what will be your main focus on that? And give us some advices to overcome this problem. <laughs> well, I, thank, I, you, I Daniel. Think, thank you very much, Daniel, for this question. Uh, um, who, who, who wrote this question? Can Gil I know Gilbert. 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 Yeah. Uh, Gilbert, let me tell you something. Um, if, if Gabriel, there are, if there Gabriel are, was here, could say, it's Gilberto, it's not Gilbert, Gilberto. Gilberto. But, it, but it's Gilbert, actually, yeah. It, it's Gilbert Walker. Yeah, Gilberto. Um, no, it's Gilbert. Gilbert. But uh, yeah, it's oh, really Gilbert. written Gilbert. Okay, Gilbert. Gilbert Walker. Gilbert, what I can tell you uh, uh, regarding to uh, uh, learning English mm. in schools. I'm learning, I'm learning a lot with this edition today. Okay, thank you very Teacher much. Teacher Eduardo Casule will be together next Sunday for oh, okay. a CPD. A CPD. Yes. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, as I was saying, um, you know, there are many factors, okay? There are many factors involving uh, this 
failure we have in uh, learning uh, in our students learning English in public schools or mm -hmm. at, at school. Um, one of them, as we said before, is non-qualified teachers. Mm. Yeah, 72, 72 percent. 72 percent <laughs> non-qualified teachers. Um, and we say in Portuguese, they were, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't sound yeah. very well in and, English. And, and, and also, uh, you know, the time frame. Yes. You know, we, we, we have, we have um, 90 minutes. 45 minutes. 90, yeah, 90 minutes and 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 45 minutes for each class. Yeah. Okay. A a uh, in some schools, in some schools, three lessons or three classes a week. Okay, which is not enough. We know if we go into, uh, 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 if we put it into the scale of, uh, uh, for example, a time we need to have for a CPD. Mm -hmm. Okay, even for teachers, uh, uh, like having 45 minutes. For a class, it's not enough. Yeah. Okay. It's not enough, and um, uh, and when there is not a up? deep connection, you know, between classes. Mm -hmm. If if you are, for example, uh, 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 um, what many teachers say, as Gilbert, Gilbert said, mm -hmm. uh, 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 I don't see the same way with my students. Okay. I I cannot say that they are like sixty percent learning English, but I know that. Grades, my grade seven students, okay, when they go to grade eight, yes, they are quite good, okay, okay, in, in, in because I know how things work in English, okay, I know uh, what strategies to make my students learn. I'm not very much focused on grammar, okay, because many teachers are very much focused on grammar. And we know that grammar is not easy. Yeah. English grammar is not it's easy. Even us teachers, we struggle. Well, Portuguese isn't uh, isn't either. One of my I'm teaching uh, yeah, yeah, students. Portuguese, Portuguese, Portuguese is very is much difficult. more. It's, it's very much more difficult. difficult. It's, it's very much more difficult than English. Okay, it's very much. Yeah, more but English difficult. English grammar is really English difficult. grammar is really difficult. Yeah. Okay, it's very difficult. Uh, that's what uh, we we learned in uh, in. Um, what what the, what 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 is is it's it's grammar, it's uh, uh, it's GB. Uh, as I said, we we have principles and parameters okay. right, in learning, in in, in, in learning a uh, uh, language, in learning uh, grammar. Uh, we know that in English, in English, in French, in Portuguese, we have future. Yeah, that's a principle. Every every languages have a future, have a past, and uh, and, and they have uh, all all the tasks, aspects. Yes, all aspects, language aspects. Yeah. But the parameters are the way each future happens. The past. How does the past happen in Kikong? Is this the same way as in in, in Portuguese? No. How no. does the negative happens in Japan? Or in Japanese, as is it the same as in, in English? Mm -hmm. It is not. It's like in Kikongo, the negative always goes at the end, right? Kikwendako, Kadiambuko, Kikudiako, Kikuakidiako. Yeah. It's not the same as Portuguese. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's never, not the same as it's in never, Portuguese. It's uh, never uh, mono. Uh, ko kuiza nada. Kikuiza ko. ko. Kikudiako. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so this particular oh, yeah. aspects, uh, if you are very much involved in Master Beto. this, it's Master Beto here. He's viewing us. Oh, yeah. keep, up, keep up doing your good job. Regards, my bro. Oh, you couldn't be teacher Duffer, Master Beto. My big bro. <laughs> My uh -huh. tutor, it's one of my tutor. Oh, I, yeah, I like Beto, Beto yeah. a lot. He, he's always there yeah. uh, helping his community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one, this is one of the Angolan teacher, English teacher, very much interested in developing others. Yeah. Yeah. He's really a, a CPD uh, 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 businessman. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the, the, he, yeah. No, let me just try. He was to bring, is it Machizi? Yes, 
Matisse Scho uh, 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 Schofield, he was to, he wants me to, to invite an, an old timer and a very experienced teacher. He wants me to invite him, but I was supposed to invite him last year, but I will talk to you later. I will talk to you later. Yes, about about him. We need him here. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Gilbert, did you get the the answer? Now, uh, this is teacher, teacher Kwaito, viewing us from South Africa. He said, "No. Should I ask first this one? No. Let me ask this. Kintino, Kintino White, Shan Shan Moon, viewing us from uh, Bengala." How do you no? How does no? How do you how do you how do you guest? No. What does the guest have to tell us? Yes, yes. What does the guest have to tell us about those professionals who teach two or more than more than one subject? Is that what he meant? Because he only wrote who teach two or more than in. Yeah, but what do you what do you mean? But I think I know. I might know what you you, you meant. How does uh, our, what 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 can our guest tell us? Yeah, about those professionals who teach two or more than one subjects. Mm. Does that is it what? Okay, I've been facing a lot of difficulties in certain teachers in zona di influenza pedagogica mm. who don't understand certain topics belonging to the uh, curriculum. Mm -hmm. So how, what can you tell them yeah, about, uh, about this, uh, this issue? Because I think, he all, I think he also works for the Minister of Education and he sometimes has problems uh, with certain teachers who I think they are coordinators and they, they don't understand their, their topics. Imagine, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You are, you are the head of English. Yes, English in Telatoma. Right. Now you are the head, but you don't, you don't uh, master, master English. English. And uh, I uh, or 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 uh, E L T. Yes, you've got problems yeah. with uh, English, the language itself, and also the uh, the the, me the, the methods curriculum. and techniques. Yeah, the methods. Yeah, the curriculum. The, yeah, the curriculum. Sure. Yes. Yeah. So oh, what yeah, can we tell you, him? Thank you, thank you very much. This, this is Kintino. Uh, Kintino um, wise, uh, wise Shine Moon from Bengala. And this yeah, um, what, what, what happened, what happens is, um, you know, I, I think I said this before. Uh, when, I, when I said uh, that we have a, an English teacher, mm -hmm. He's an English teacher. He's, he's specialized in English, let's yes. say, uh -huh. but he teaches mathematics yes. and he's coordinating mathematics. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't really know how to answer this question. Okay. But uh, what I have to tell is that um, that's one of the way we are also killing education. Okay. Because you know, uh, um, how, how is it possible? How, how can I run it? You know, I'm humble enough mm -hmm. to say that I am not expert in this okay. and I cannot deal with this. So I deny. Why do people accept? And many of teachers, they don't really, they are not really requested or asked it, okay? To, 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 uh, um, to have that church, okay. They just see in the papers that his name is there as right. the coordinator. It's happening in my school too, uh, right? Yeah. And what happened is that um, I think the principals, not only the school principals, I'm talking about the responsibles, mm -hmm. uh, education responsibles. Uh, they are not very much uh, 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 engaging on developing education. Okay. This is my humble opinion okay because how can i give a church to a teacher that doesn't master a certain subject but, but now then did they I get want, an I order from the government or from from, from the the principal sorry did they get any order for them to be hiring these teachers 
I mean, to be um, uh, nominating those teachers as the, as a head of head of, of of English subject or head of a certain subject. You know what's happening. Let, let me let me uh, uh, clear up this uh, right now. Um, by by this time, let me talk about Talatona. I don't know about uh, other municipalities, yes. but at this time in Talatona, um, there are not like nominated coordinators. Okay, in schools. Why? Because. Uh, because of this changing of uh, salary patterns mm -hmm. and so on, uh, I think they had to uh, to dismiss everyone. Okay. I don't know if they will then try to select others or nominate others, but um, what I can tell is that even by this time, uh, I'm coordinating Talatona, not more officially okay it means that if i want to skip from my responsibilities there's no one who can judge me okay because there is any there isn't any document that says the king is still a coordinator but what i am doing is that by the time we don't have anyone who can help others yes so i offer myself to do this all right but what I normally do, even in papers, in signing their coordinator, mm -hmm. I cut them off. Okay. Because I am not officially the coordinator anymore. All right. There's no any door that, you know, states I'm the coordinator. So what I can say is that, um, well, I don't know who decides this. I don't know who, who of course, who nominate the coordinators are the principal, the school principal. Okay. Okay. They suggest names, and these names go to the local uh, administration, school administration. Let's say the municipality, uh, and in the municipality, then they have to see. I don't know. I, 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 but, uh, in the past, they used to to follow the specialization. Okay. But now I don't know how things will work. But yeah. The teacher is right. This is what happens. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm all in white. All right. Uh, we are about to say goodbye. Can we say goodbye? Yeah, well, <laughs> um, I'm I remember, keen on receiving. Are you, are you okay? Well, are you I'm comfortable? Okay. I'm okay. Because I'm I remember, comfortable. I remember interviewing a guest. Uh, he, he, was ready to, he was ready to answer the questions. Yeah. yeah. But then he said, man, I was answering the question, but I really want you to finish it. Oh, wow. <laughs> No, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying it. You know, okay. I, I truly uh -huh. love sharing, and uh, I like learning with others also. Oh, okay. Dafa, uh, uh, feedback. Uh, his when your principal manager managers mm -hmm. impose you to increase marks to those learners who got negatives. <laughs> For example, a learner with five marks to give him or her eight marks. Or um, a learner with seven marks to give him or her ten marks, bearing in mind that these learners don't deserve that uh, that because the teacher is the one who knows better or, or better his or um, her, her learners. Now the question is, yes, what feedback? This is uh, mm -hmm. F. Turk's question, Fuller Thomas. You know him. Do yeah, you know him? I do. Do you, I know, do you know him? I know uh, Fuller Tomas or F. Chuck? No, I know both. Uh, uh, both. both. Okay, so yeah. it's Fuller uh, yeah, uh, Tomas. Fuller, yeah, Fuller. Yeah. Tatum <laughs> Fuller. Okay, so what? What's your feedback? This is the question. What's your feedback on those when when those when principal uh, when principal managers impose you to increase marks to those learners who got negatives? Well, what can, who, yeah. What, who, what's your take who, on what's on take on 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 on, ve, on this? Um, right, right. Before I answer your question, Quila, let me tell you that um, once in my school, I. So you on Fuila on Fuila boss, yes? English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, mind your questions. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be punished. Fuila, yeah, 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 yeah. No, he told me he should, he should, he should be in the room. 
Yeah, uh, what I can tell you is that uh, there was a time uh -huh. I think I was absent. Okay. Okay. And um, I don't know who designed um, my, my, my test. Mm -hmm. I think it was uh, test time. I don't really know who designed the test. And the test was like, uh, 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 was given to the students. Yeah. And when I came, I just told my principal that I would not correct anything. Why did you do that? Why did I do that? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, how, 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 how will I correct something that that wasn't designed by no. By apart me. from being designed by oh, me, okay. full of mistakes. Okay. I don't know who wrote that. Okay. I don't know who the teacher. Okay. They didn't even consult me because I should now. Yeah. We, to we, know we, what, we what, what to know what you covered. Yeah. Of uh, course. What, what I covered, covered and yeah. so on. Mm -hmm. I said, no, you were killing my students, and I will not correct that. And the same way, it happens in marks. Okay. I was once also imposed because. Our principals are very much worried on, on statistics. Okay. They are very much worried on numbers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they want to have in their statistics that this amount of students, this percentage of students have succeeded. Succeeded. Okay. And I think they, they feel boasting, right? Okay. Why, 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 why this happened? And uh, truly speaking, my feedback is a denial. Okay. And in my school, my principal knows that. My, my colleagues know that. I never do that. Even when I am a judge in uh, exams, mm -hmm. okay, I am never, even, even colleagues, even friends. Okay. Oh, no, that's uh, King, that's my son. Okay. There was a time you should come for me to help him. Okay. It was in the learning period. Not in the results. Yeah. Right? So you are my colleague. Here. We work together. I have never seen you talking to me. Now you come to talk to me on behalf of your son. Yeah. No, I can't help. I can't help. And I don't really help. All right. Guys. I don't. This is my feedback. And now. All right. Are you okay, Fuila? Let me just read this question. Okay. And Fuila, Fuila knows that very much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Teacher Quito. Teacher Kwaito's question is, hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Duffer and today's guest, Mr. Da Costa. Mr. Duffer, Mr. Duffer, answer, answer my question is an, an amazing podcast. I love it and I hope you keep up the good job. Now, Mr. Da Costa, I've got two questions. Based on your experience as an English teacher, what is the best way or method to teach English to monolingual or multilingual students? Mm. <laughs> it's a challenging question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are there are there, well, are, are think, there multilingual think. multilingual uh, students in in our classes in in Luanda or in Angola? Uh, oh, they are only monolingual. No, I think we we, we, we well, I don't know if multilingual it's referring to Luanda or. It Even the Gongo, Portuguese is still the, yeah. the language that yeah, you, have, you have to teach. To teach. Forget your Kikongo, your Kimbundo. No one speaks mm -hmm. Kimbundo in the classroom. You should, if you speak it, yeah. go and talk yeah. to go and talk to the principal. Yes. Yeah, because okay. we, we we are in an EFL e, EFL. Uh, 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 um, this is our pattern, right? Okay. We yes. we don't teach English as a second language or. Teaches as a as a foreign language. Yes. So, uh, uh, so I what's the best that. way or method to teach English to um, monolingual students? Um, is there a best way of teaching any kind of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of a subject? I don't think so. I, I think the method depends very much on the your students' needs. Okay. Depends on the trial. Okay, because I may try. Uh, I may try a method in, in, in a certain group. For example, I, I, I currently I'm teaching grade nine students. Okay. And, um, you know, I have three, three groups. The method I use with one, it may not work 
in the second group, all right? And sometimes I need to reorder, I need to, 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 to redo things, okay? Sometimes uh, 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 um, uh, when I am planning, like there are teachers who plan uh, uh, a single, a single plan, who does a single plan mm -hmm. for, for the, the three groups. Yes. But I don't normally do that because I know there are some particularities in, 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 in groups, okay? They have different styles of learning. And sometimes what I do with students, there's a, a group of students where you have students who are, uh, we have like open brains, okay? okay? You talk once and they catch you. All right, you go to other groups. Uh, when I when I when I was studying, there was uh, <laughs> although today, okay, we are not we are not really running the school this way. But yeah, uh, sometimes it it happens. You see, yes. you have in a group of students, uh, fifty students, where you have, uh, for example, thirty students who are, let's say, quite open, okay, to acquiring quickly. Okay, uh, uh, to absorbing quickly what you are teaching. Okay, and you use them to help others. But you have fifty students, mm -hmm. and the fifty students struggle to understand you. Okay, how can I use the same method in teaching a certain topic in these two different groups? It's All impossible. Right. So having like a, a standard method, something the best method. I, I don't think there is a best method. Not even in teaching English. I don't think there's a method. So you, te method. you teach the one that works? The one that works. Okay. And that's why, and even in CPDs, uh, many CPDs I have done run by Bridge Council, mm -hmm. even the trainers, they said, every method is good once you try it first. Okay. And it works. Once you don't try it, methodologically or theoretically, mm -hmm. it may sound perfect. But once you try it, it might not work with a group of students, a certain group of students. Okay. His last question. Uh, during classes, still uh, Quito's, uh, Quito's question. During classes, is that correct speaking Portuguese? Like you, you divide the, um, you have Portuguese and English. You, you say 70% Portuguese and 30% English. During classes, is it correct or is that correct speaking Portuguese and English where you have 70% you speak Portuguese and 30% English? I think um, I think I, I have to do the opposite. Okay. Huh? I should do 70% English? So tell him. And 70% uh, English and 30 30 is at 30% and something Portuguese. It, it doesn't mean that once we teach English, we don't have to, to use Portuguese. Uh, I think there's, there's no any expert in, 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 uh, in English teaching or, or, or trainer who states that uh, you don't have to, to, to speak the uh, yeah. one in, in the classroom. Of course, but uh, 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 the average, yeah, you, in, in the average, seventy percent English and thirty percent English. What what I do in my experience is like, I I I allow my students to speak Portuguese, okay, in some extent, but I hardly use Portuguese in my classes. And whenever I I I I, I need to use Portuguese. I use, you know, colleagues to do it uh, uh, for themselves. It means that a student asks me for something, a vocabulary, uh, instead of telling him in Portuguese, yeah. I ask his mate and his mate tells him in Portuguese. That makes them think that, well, you know, I have to struggle to speak English with the teacher because yeah. once I ask the teacher, the teacher asks a colleague to tell me in Portuguese. It means that the teacher doesn't need to use Portuguese very much in the class, but it's necessary in some particular moments in, in the lesson. All right, uh, there are 20 people viewing us and we are about to finish. I was smiling because, well, it's good, it's good to see that 
Uh, answer my questions is here for you. And I know that there are lots of teachers who work for the Ministry of Education, not only for the Ministry of Education, uh, but also work for um, for some private schools. Yeah. I can see Maria, Maria, Maria Gonzalez. He, he quoted uh, Professor uh, Isaac Pash. Mm -hmm. She said that uh, once Isaac Pasha said, filling statistics and following the calendar, those are not the main goals of education. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that's what course, he said. And but that's Earth what happens. Unfortunately. Yes, Turk said, uh, Mr. King, that's the way of being a real teacher, not accepting this kind of impositions or requests. Yeah, and I was smiling because of... Uh, Marchis Scott Fields comment. He said, "My internet finished. <laughs> I ran. I ran a bucket to get the connection ready again. <laughs> this, pod this podcast is really awesome. I need to watch it till the end. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much. So we are happy. We are happy when we get this kind of uh, this kind of feedback. Yes, we feel yeah. we feel like uh, our job is being." is being uh, done yep. in a very good way. Mm. So it's really nice. Thank you so much for your, for your feedback. Okay, that's a very good method. It's called differentiation. Okay, this mm. is uh, the feeling. Let me just see, is it? Uh, Daniel. Yeah, she is my friend. She oh, Dophelia. Yeah. Oh, she has she will, been here? Yeah, she will be here. Oh, she'll be here. Yes, yes. yes. Really? Yes. Daniel. Interesting. Please, Daniel. Daniel. To be here. Really? She's going to be. She has accepted the invitation. She has accepted. Uh, yeah. Dophelia will be yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, can you see She's how I'm here? She's, She's an engineer yeah. who works as an uh, English teacher. Yeah. No, no, no. Apart oh. from being engineer, she's uh -huh. also an English teacher. Oh, oh that's yeah. good. Her start with me, as said. Oh, that's oh, good. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's that's a very good method. It's called differentiation, planning according to the level or oh, group of group students. students. This uh, this way, everyone learns their way. All right. Thank you, Dophelia. She'll be here yeah, in March. Yes, Thank you. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> ah, very good. She'll be yeah. here. Okay. Good. Yes. So, yeah. this is. It's been ages since we uh, we last um, lasted like yeah two hours. It's always been one hour and forty five minutes, Ooh, one hour okay. and thirty minutes. But today it's been well. There's a lot in to two say. minutes. In two minutes we'll be turning. Two, uh, two hours. Okay. Great. Well, it's time to say goodbye, guys. Yeah. But my guest doesn't want to go home. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, truly speaking, you know, I'm keen on no yeah. ball home and yeah, raise so get a little home bit and for watch. the football match. Yeah. I want okay. to see yeah, the final. final today. Yeah, so, so, today. so final. let's say goodbye, guys. Yeah, I want to see the uh, I can see Jose Mache uh, joined us a bit late, viewing guys from Mozambique. Carlos. Uh, Carlos Jiva, viewing us from Gaza, Mozambique, also joined us very late, as he said, he said, I'm very late today. It's always nice to see you on the other side. Daniel. And I'm, uh, I'm wondering, because I haven't seen uh, Mr. Zanji today. Yeah, Mr. Candido so is, is absent. Did you see yeah. his, son's, uh, his son's questions? No, 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 I didn't. I can't wait to see you there. Okay, this is uh, Maria, Maria, Maria Gonzalez's uh, comments. I think trying to, she's eager to see uh, Dophelia. Is it, it's Dophelia, yes? Yeah. Thank you, it was very productive with the time. Daniel, stop ah, exaggerating. <laughs> okay, uh, Dr. King. Yes, sir. Is there or were there any questions that we you were expecting us to, to, to ask, ask you, no, but we ask. we didn't? Yeah. Uh, well, truly oh, speaking, and I you would think, like you I would like to uh, knowing that we didn't we didn't ask them, mm -hmm. and you okay you 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 know that I was expecting uh, Dafa or the 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 viewers to ask me these questions, but they didn't. Okay, as they didn't do that. Let me uh, come talk back. about that. Yes. Oh, Is there yeah. anything that you would like to Well, truly speaking, uh, to, I think this... say, this, oh, you are happy with the questions that you were asked. 
you know, I, I think this 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 uh, addition of session. Mm. Addition. This addition was uh, uh, worthwhile. Okay. I think all the questions were interesting. Okay. Of course, I I, I was here to answer the questions mm. according to my capacity. Yeah. Right. Mm. And I think um, we've done it. Okay. We've done it. Good. Of course, I thought I I I I, I, I there could come more questions uh, regarding to. Other areas of yeah. of expertise, like no, 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 interculturality or uh, 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 and, and so on. But yeah, I think this was the most important for for our context. Okay. But I think in some other time, I'm, I'm keen on getting back to talk a little bit about um, culture in language learning. Language learning, I think it's very interesting. No problem. So, I will try to sketch yeah. you. Uh, maybe yeah. When is the education? Oh no, it's that's October. The fifth, the fifth of October, yeah. Teachers' Day, International Teachers' oh, Day. Oh, Teachers' Day. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. see if we can have you back and hey, talk about hey, it. No. Okay, no, hey, uh, the fifth. Oh. The fifth. Oh, yeah. The fifth is the International the Teachers' Day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I am David Fernando Duffa, and my guest for today's edition was uh, Dolino King da Costa, Dalton King. Yeah, yeah. Well, your last words. Well, um, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation. Don't Duffer. mention it. Um, I was expecting this invitation for, I think, a year uh, ago. Yeah, you were to come last fall. year, but you, yeah, were, you were busy. Year, and I was really busy. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to see it finishing. Yeah, yeah. Much it, it is. Cold field. It is. You know, I didn't even see the time pass, you know. Yeah. yeah. I thought we, we were still uh, having no, enough time. No, it's been two hours. Yeah, two yeah. hours. Yeah, it ran fast. Yeah, but thank you very much. And also thank you, um, the audience. Okay. I, I thank you very much for the questions you posed. And I hope I have uh, not really satisfied, but okay. I think I have helped mm -hmm. okay, uh, much. And I think we still have a lot to discuss. Yes. Okay. And to exchange, you know, to share experiences. You know, and I also... Um, I sometimes don't have time on Sundays to 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 watch uh, to join you, mm -hmm. but I always rewind. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I yeah, always I rewind. See yeah, I always comments. rewind, yeah. and I, I sometimes. And I'm happy. On, I'm happy. On, no, not I'm happy. We are happy. Then you know, yeah. yeah. Daniel is my technician. On this. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much, and I think you've been doing a great job. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Just uh, uh, be. Uh, uh, what I want to say is. You you need you need to be a, a bit more uh, uh, what can I say not, not stubborn what what is the vocabulary I should use uh, it doesn't come to my mind right now but like should we have for example uh, 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 those so called lectures. Oh, the lecture. lectures. Yes, we will have them. In, 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 we are in, trying in, to, to get ready yeah. so as to have them. Yeah, will, yeah, and you can also yeah. help us uh, bring some of the, some of the, the lecturers and, and professors. And professors, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because we, we can try to address the, the invitation, but maybe they may not, uh, they may not accept it. Yeah, but with, with your help and some, of pe yeah. some people's yeah, we help, we, we can they, can, they can come. Yeah. We will help them. We are... We are think, thinking of inviting Sami. Yes, Daniel. Yeah. 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 Oh, Sami? No, we are thinking ah, of Sam. Yeah, yeah. Ah, some okay. Some okay. of the okay. Some of the, some of the, the professors, the professors. And lecturers. Yes. Okay. Is, is there any way to to like through the the podcast but uh, interviewing virtually? Is it possible? Daniel? We haven't done it for alive possible. Yeah, live. It's yeah, it's possible. Yeah, but we we would like to see we would like yeah. to see them sitting here. Sitting here. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. Actually, it's, it's possible. Okay, yeah, okay, it's okay. possible. No, to I, 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 I asked you this because uh, there might be uh, people interested and yes. they are out of wonder. Oh yeah, yeah. And they want. Yeah, yeah. 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 yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 We can do Perhaps that. Perhaps a trial. Okay? Yes, a yeah. trial on this and yeah. see if it works that. or not. We've been doing it yeah. with people no. who are out of Rwanda. Yes. Yes. But yeah. for a while, we are trying to explore yeah. those who are here and Great. try to uh, sit over there where you are and try to share and things they have. With I them. very much appreciate this. Yeah. 
Hi, Thanks a lot, Daniel. Yeah. I love you, you Daniel. <laughs> okay, Mbuta um, Mutu Nkinge. Yeah. Thank you so much for having accepted my invitation. It was yeah. really nice to, yeah. to have you here on Ask My Questions. And okay. I would also like to thank uh, those who have started with us and are also here with us, those 30 viewers that were here and commented and said uh, something, and you, the 17 viewers that are there finishing this edition. And my Dophelia, because I've sent her a link. Oh, okay. To make part of this. Ah, oh. all right. I knew you had a lot to learn from him. Ah, okay. That's good. <laughs> all right. Thank my you, technician for today's edition was is will always will always be Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. So Daniel is my technician. The, the team might be growing. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And I can I fire him. That. I can <laughs> fire him if misbehaves. Okay, so my technician great, great, was Daniel. Great. Um he's always on the other side help me. Thank you so much for your comments and for sharing this edition. Okay? See you on Sunday, yeah? See you next edition. Bye bye. Goodbye.